Hello and welcome back to Nikki Talks Trailers. I'm Nikki Limo and we have some trailers to talk. Today we're talking Blade Runner 2049, It, and Girls Trip. Let's talk some trailers. By now you probably know the links to the full trailers are always in the description for you to check out. If you want to, highly recommend it. Let's get started. First up we got Blade Runner 2049. This trailer starts off with us flying past a gigantic Atari logo. Just the fact that Atari is still around in 2049 already makes for some amazing science fiction. Then we get a creepy blank-eyed Jarrett Leto comforting what I'm guessing is a newborn replicant by saying, shh, happy birthday. Which I'm sorry, I just want that as my ringtone now. Or like my outgoing voicemail. Can you imagine calling somebody and it's just like, shh, happy birthday. Beep really filters out who's willing to leave a message. At the end, we get a girl telling Ryan Gosling he's special, which just tells me she's seen The Notebook a couple times, cause duh. And then she says, your story isn't over yet. There's still a page left, which isn't a metaphor. Literally the next scene is him looking over a story with a page that's been torn out. What happens next, Noah? We have to know. Keep reading. Next up we have It. Now everybody likes to complain that kids don't go outside anymore and they're always at home playing on their iPads. Well, maybe that's an evolution that would have saved adventurous little kids like this. I'm willing to bet the kids at home playing Angry Birds on their iPads right now aren't getting eaten by interdimensional demon clowns. Thank you. And just as a rule of thumb, when you're alone in front of a scary house with a wall of balloons and a terrifying figure standing behind it, you stick around and you check it out just to see what happens. Trust me. And does anyone else think of all the prep work that must have happened right before this scene with the balloons? I mean, I just picture Pennywise in his kitchen that morning with a helium tank and like blowing up each individual balloon and tying them and then like gluing them into a perfect triangle. I don't know, I just feel like his love of arts and crafts is kind of sweet. And lastly, we have our trailer of the week, Girls Trip. I feel like between this and Rough Night, we have quite a few options to watch girls in groups of four acting crazy this year. This movie seems to be about a bunch of girls just trying to have fun until, uh-oh, one of their boyfriends or husbands is caught cheating on them. What a buzzkill. Without that conflict, we could have watched another hour of middle-aged women dancing and tripping on absinthe. I guess all good things come to an end. At the end of the trailer, we get two of the girls debating over whether or not sneaking drugs through a body cavity can give you an infection. I personally would never attempt such a thing because it seems like a pain in the ass. Which brings us to my favorite segment, Caption This. I asked you to caption this screenshot of Girls Trip on Twitter and here's what you said. Oh man, those new trailers are hot. Girl, I can't believe they didn't create a special Oscar for best theater. Regal Cinema should so win it. I see you sucking up to us. Wow, that guy does his eyeliner even better than I do. And I do great eyeliner. At Regal Movies is giving away what? What's a trailer? How they feel after watching a horror movie. Like it, oh my gosh. When Waze gets you to your destination five minutes early, hashtag timing is everything. Oh no, she ain't wearing last year's heels. Watching old episodes of Fear Factor, they did not just eat that. They definitely did. And that's it for this week's episode of Nikki Talks Trailers. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Nikki Limo. I ask you to caption things all the time. And I just like talking to you. Just like talking person to person, friend to friend. We're friends, right? We're friends. Also, leave us a comment and let us know what movie you're most excited to see. And I will see you next time. Bye.